Alright, hello guys and welcome to this video. Today we're going to be talking about subtropical depression Andrea or Andrea, I don't know how you say it, uh, but that's what we're going to be dealing with. This looks to, like it's going to stay in the Atlantic, but this could pose a threat for Bermuda, so that's going to be kind of interesting as we move forward to see how this actually affects Bermuda and uh, yeah, what, what kind of effects that'll be bringing. Now, right now we're looking at satellite imagery, high-res satellite imagery, and this is always very interesting to look at. Uh, it does have some good rotation, but the cloud coverage is pretty spotty, so we'll have to keep an eye on that, see how many clouds develop or whatnot. Now we're going to move on to our spaghetti models, which is kind of just like where all the different models think this one's going to go. You can see there's two general directions that models want to take this one. Uh, possibly towards Bermuda, like I was saying, that looks about 70 or 80 percent chance, maybe more. And then there's that other chance that it possibly curves down and heads back towards the Caribbean and the Bahamas. I don't really see this one playing out this way uh, but it does look like it is possible but very unlikely at this point we're also going to be looking at our intensity models here and you can see that we're under tropical storm status but about 60 percent of the models want to bring this one into tropical storm status or right near it so there is a pretty good chance that we do see this one turn into a tropical storm and it would develop into a, a lot more of an organized storm uh, on, on this one so We'll have to keep an eye, and I'm very excited this is the first storm. I want to make a lot of videos like this for different storms that are going to be happening this year. I, I love tropical weather. It's very interesting to me, and I just can't wait to be bringing coverage for these storms as they develop, and they're very hard to forecast, and that's honestly the most intriguing part about them. So, again, here's your intensity, uh, and we're looking at about a 50% chance of becoming tropical storm status and another uh, probably like 48% chance that it stays under and then 2% it goes over tropical storm status somehow. Uh, but I highly doubt that at this point. Now here's NOAA's forecast for this one. You can see it's heading towards Bermuda. Uh, we'll know more by Wednesday what direction it's going to head after that. But it looks like they're calling for this one to stay a tropical depression. And I can't argue against that. But I think there is still a split, uh, a pretty good shot at becoming a tropical storm like I said before. Again, Bermuda, watch out. This one could pose a pretty big threat for you guys to bring some showers and thunderstorms and some damaging wind, possibly. Even a tropical depression would uh, damage some things, obviously. That is still a pretty bad storm, uh, probably equivalent to a pretty moderate, uh, you know, severe wind event uh, as far as a thunderstorm goes. So it still is a, you know, dangerous storm. We can't you know, we have to take it seriously just like we would a tropical storm or possibly even a hurricane. So, again, probably a subtropical storm heading towards Bermuda in the coming days. And I will be wanting to make an update on this one, and I'm going to try to do that for you guys. Anyway, sorry for my absence, but I'm, I'm back now, and I'm hopefully going to be making more consistent videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.